Alright, hey guys, so today I'm going to be playing a little bit of Vermintide 2, the closed beta. Uh, this game is very similar to the Left 4 Dead series, if you're not familiar with Vermintide. Um, basically, there's four of us, it's a four-player co-op multiplayer game, and we fight our way through till the end, and there's various bosses that we have to defeat along the way. But instead of fighting zombies, this is the Warhammer universe, so we're fighting mostly these rat creatures, and along with, um, there is some zombie looking guys as well. Uh, but yeah, this is the sequel to... Uh, the first Vermintide, which I played quite a bit with some of my friends, and uh, looking forward to this game. So I'm playing as the Wayfarer, I believe, which is like the elf class. Uh, so I'm going to be using a bow and a spear. Uh, there's a bunch of different weapons you get to choose from. I'm just choosing a spear because it's a little bit longer range than most other weapons. Um, so this is my team. These are all real people. I just joined a quick play match uh, just so I can uh, talk for this video instead of uh, being distracted. Alright, there's the big guy. I'm gonna use this incendiary grenade and we kill him pretty fast. Oh! I'm not sure if that did anything. <laughs> Ouch. There we go. Healing One difference between the first Vermintide and this game is the, each class has like a special ability. My special ability is like a triple shot that has like home seeking arrows. It's kind of neat. Goes through uh, multiple enemies. Alright, so. Uh, in this Colosseum, there's going to be hordes of enemies coming after us. It's going to be a little crazy. I'm going to start over here. I have a finite number of arrows, so I will run out fairly soon, and then I'll have to use the spear. Uh oh. There is a wizard somewhere who's casting this, like, acid tornado. Oh, there he is. He's dead. If you get sucked into the tornado, it does do quite a bit of damage. So many enemies, look around. Alright, I switched to the spear. Had a little bit of fun with this. There's also various, like, dashes. You can, like, dash back, dash left and right. You can also block. You can do this block thing where I can actually, um, push enemies back. Which is kinda cool. Oh no! No, I'm sucked in the tornado. No. Uh, I'm probably going to take a lot of damage from that. Let's go ahead and switch to my special. Hit a couple enemies. I can shoot this bow extremely quickly. You can, like, do a charge shot to do a little bit more damage, but since I'm playing on normal difficulty, it doesn't really matter. Most enemies die in one or two hits anyway. I'm actually shooting a lot more than I need to be shooting. There's a healing potion. Alright, let's go save my teammate. He's down. Okay, good. I really need to show off the melee combat because it is extremely gory and it's so satisfying. I can do this one attack where I can basically, basically like cut enemies in half or I can just chop their heads off. Oh, this is the wizard. Alright, he's dead. I think that dwarf stole my arrows. <laughs> Alright, I think we're done. It is a lot more fun playing with friends if y'all have, uh, like, voice or headsets on and you can talk to each other. You can actually, um,. Team up and it works out pretty well. Uh, this is very similar to Left 4 Dead in the sense that there is like these enemies that will come that will like jump on you, and there's nothing you can do unless your teammate saves you. Saves you. Um, so you have to work together as a team to get to the end. It is very challenging if you don't have a good team um, that can work together. I'm gonna keep using the spear. Whoa, I did not mean to do that actually. Alright. So there's a special item 
um, back here that I can pick up. It's kind of hidden, but it's up here. Crap. But if I pick this up, and if I keep it till the end of the game, I'll get a bonus, like, little reward. So I might as well do it. Let's see if I can pick it up. Almost. Almost. Did I get it? I got it. <laughs> Alright, so basically this is what I picked up. It's kind of a, like, secret object. Um, but it allows you to get better loot if you finish the mission with it. The, the downside is if, if I die, then it's a big, um, then I die permanently, I believe. Or something, like, really bad happens and I lose it for more. Actually, I'm pretty sure with the grimoire, um, actually, never mind. I have no idea. It's something. It, it, basically, what it does, if you look at the bottom of the screen, I have, like, 25 to 30% less health. And I have to keep it for the rest of the game, so I'm gonna have a, like, health penalty. Um, and it's kind of difficult, because there's some big bosses that will come shortly, and they'll be able to kill me rather easily. But since I am the, like, long-range class, it shouldn't be too hard of a problem. There's a potion. Probably poisoned, but there it is. Blight Stormers 2, now we fight it for. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. There is a boss, I think. Oh, yeah, that's definitely a boss. Oh, crap. Alright, shoot my arrows. Come for me. Ah! Oh, crap. Alright. He's down. Let's use my spear. Die. Oh, shit. Not all bows can shoot this fast. This is like a weaker bow, but it shoots so quickly that I like to use it. Um, I feel like it's a good, uh... It's better to shoot fast and shoot more often, do more damage, than it is to do more damage, like, for each shot. That's just my opinion, though. There we go. Killed the boss. Sweet. <laughs> and I don't think anyone died, and I still have my grimoire. I barely took any damage from that, which is pretty amazing. Usually bosses do a lot more damage, especially if you don't have a good team uh, um, doing damage to it, or a good person aggroing it. Um, you have to constantly be dashing or blocking. And as you can see, there is stamina, um, so you can't block indefinitely. I'm gonna go ahead and pick this up. This is a incendiary crate, or like a crate of gasoline, basically, or oil. I uh, might be able to use this. Not entirely sure, though. Not sure what's coming up next. I think we have to climb this uh, castle here. Yeah. There's a hook rat. Oh, shit. There it is. Might as well bring this with us. Oh crap. Shoot it. Come on. Ah, oh, I'm stuck. Oh, I ran out of arrows. There we go. That should blow up soon. I was wondering why I couldn't shoot. I'm like, oh crap, I'm out of arrows. As you can see, that'll burn him up. This game also runs surprisingly well, I've noticed. Compared to the first game, I am playing on medium settings. I could play on high settings if I wanted to, but uh, I don't have the best CPU for recording, so I'm playing on um, normal, and I'm getting a solid 60 FPS with a 2K monitor. But the game looks incredible. I don't know if you guys can tell, but they put a lot of work into these levels. It looks so much better than the first game. The first game looked pretty amazing, too. Every so often you can see, like, heads fly off. Alright, so I need to climb this ladder. Before the horde arrives. <laughs> uh oh, they're already coming. It's okay. Just gotta pull over. <laughs> you see that I just chopped his leg off. <laughs> Watch this. You can like you can basically like dismember them in so many like crazy ways. Oh man. 
They're actually doing a lot of damage. Let's go ahead and use my special. Pop. No, they're all dead. <laughs> Still have arrows. Ah! Man, they keep like canceling my attacks. Doing a really bad job here. Took a lot of damage, a lot of unnecessary damage. Alright, done. Okay, they shot the cannon and blew open the wall. I wish I could have showed you uh, what that looks like, but you can actually see like the cannon firing and breaking the wall down. It's kind of cool. So that's just like, you just like chop them in so many crazy ways. Alright, I need to pick this up, get my health up. So all my teammates, they have full HP, I believe. Um, or actually, no, that's not how it works. Uh, basically, since I picked up the Grimoire, everyone loses 30% health. Uh, in the left corner, you can see that everyone is kind of gimped right now. Uh, just because I picked up this Grimoire. But we'll all get rewarded at the end, so it's worth it. Alright, I gotta... Oops, messed up. Gotta get these arrows away from you guys. There we go. <laughs> Right, there might be a boss up here. We'll see. Pow. Pow, pow. I don't know. I love the combat of this game. It's so fast paced and fluid. And it just feels great. Um, more arrows over here. I don't really need them. Alright, moving forward. Sometimes there's a boss that spawns here, sometimes not. Alright, no boss. But just look at the detail, like this looks incredible. Basically we worked our way from down there all the way up here. Now we're moving up to the cathedral. Just chop their heads off, I don't know. So satisfying. Yeah, I'll switch my bro. How do you go down? I think multiple people just went down. It's not good. I'm not doing any damage. So I could do damage to armored enemies, but I have to charge up. And I can't go back for him. Shoot. I almost. <laughs> Almost got taken down. Okay, so I think two of us are dead, which is bad because if all of us go down, we're screwed. We are completely screwed. But if I can make it up these stairs, I should be able to revive the teammates. Hopefully, anyway. Stairs, One guy is slowly bleeding out. That rot hell might test us, Mayflies. All right, up here. The rot hell breeds his There's some big enemies up here. I'm gonna go this way. Kill the small enemies first. Alright, so you see where it says set free, I can actually revive my teammates. It's very similar for, to Left 4 Dead. This is like almost an exact copy of the Left 4 Dead like gameplay formula. Alright. So we got both our teammates up, that's, that's amazing. Alright, so luckily we got through this. Sometimes there's a lot harder enemies that spawn. Every time you play, there's different enemies. It's kind of a randomly generated. Um, but so far, so good. We're about, uh, I would say, about 70% through this level. How do I ring the bell? Oh crap. Help! Help! Where's my team? There we go. Well, that was weird. 
Where'd that guy go? There he is. Where's that? I think now we can ring it. Yep. So now there's going to be hordes and hordes of these rat creatures. Not every level is just all rat creatures. Some levels they're a little bit different. You fight like like humanoid looking demons as well. I'm going to stand over here. Actually, I should probably stand with my team. I don't know what they're doing though. It's probably not the best idea to stand up there. It's better to stand near the door. But whatever. I'll better to stay with the team than not stay with them. Is that hook rat? I don't know where the hell it went. There it is. It can like grab someone and uh, it, it makes them like immobile. So if your teammate gets grabbed by one, you have to kill the pack rat, otherwise your teammate will die. And if you get hooked by the by by the pack rat, there's nothing you can do. You're basically like screwed. Let's go. There, nice. Getting a little laggy. So many enemies. Oh my god, so many enemies. Click, 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 click. I'm just clicking like non stop. Alright, there we go. Oh, actually, this is the end of the level, by the way. I just not realized. This is the very end. Most levels are pretty long. They take around like 30 minutes to an hour to complete. I think in the beta there's only three missions. So I'm not sure if I'll make a video on all the missions. I kind of just wanted to show you like uh, just a quick overview of the gameplay. Uh, just to see the differences. There's not a whole lot of differences honestly. But I think the game looks a lot better. And I love like what they've done with like the ragdolls and being able to like cut people in half and stuff is really cool. Like watch this. Bam! Just cut his head off. Oh crap. Right. Alright, they're dead. And that's everyone. Alright, there's more. Oh, look at that. I just cut him in half. <laughs> That's what I was trying to show you guys before, you can like cut people in half, like literally just chop them in half, it's awesome. There's all sorts of different weapons too. Uh, I don't have to just have the spear, I can have uh... Whoa, what's going on? Oh yeah, this thing is about to blast everyone, yep. Accept some help, it's all the enemies have been killed, and I think all the windows will open, and now we can go down here and finish the mission. And I just want to quickly show you guys what it's like to uh, finish the mission because the loot system in this game is kind of cool. Uh, basically, the more you play, it's very similar to like Killing Floor 2. Um, I would say this is like a mix between Left 4 Dead and Killing Floor 2. Uh, but it's very similar. You level up each class. So whatever class you play as, you level up your character. And the higher level you get to, like every five levels, you get a perk, which will increase your combat effectiveness. And you also get like a loot box of weapons. And you can continue to get um, increasingly rare and better um, weapons and various equipment that you can... Um, customize your character a little bit and the more you play the better you'll get just naturally just by getting better loot um, and I just unlocked a swift bow so that's kind of cool I'll have to check that out and see if it's better than my current bow um, and weapon weapons and items and stuff also have various perks um, on top of them so you can get like higher crit chance higher attack speed and so forth um, but as you can see here my grimoire that I collected gave me an additional chest upgrade which is kind of cool 
if we had collected uh, other secret items, we could have had an even um, better chest, or if we played on a harder difficulty, we're playing on normal, but if you play on like hard uh, or the hardest difficulty, you'll get better loot. Um, so I had 269 kills, I did way better than everyone else, and I did the most damage. So um, all things considered, I believe I did the best, but uh, that being said, the range character does do a lot of damage, especially with the bow I had. I shoot so freaking fast and can get so many kills with it. I had the most headshots. The thing I didn't have the most of was melee kills, but I only had, I was eight kills behind getting the most melee kills. I wish it would give you like a bonus experience reward for um, doing well in the game. If you're like number one on your team, you should obviously get a better reward in my opinion at least, but that's not the way um, it works. Basically it just, uh, it just like if you finish the level, you, everyone gets pretty much the same reward. So here's some of the items I got from the chest. I got an elven spear, a charm, and a trinket. And these all seem to have various uh, perks to them. So this one has like curse resistance. This one has uh, power versus skaven. So it does 20% 20, 20 more damage versus skaven. And this one has a. Uh, what, plus 1.5 stamina, which would be pretty good. I might uh, go ahead and equip this just because it has a higher power rating So it might do a little bit more damage. I believe not really sure what the power uh, the power rating is um, Like your character isn't really determined by like your stats. It's more of this like strange power rating Illusion rare elven spear. Hmm That's interesting. Oh, never mind Blight Britter glaive all right, so I'm not sure what the illusion means. There's like a purple text underneath the uh, the name, but this one has 18% block stamina cost, and this glaive has plus 4% attack speed, which is pretty cool. And then we have another uh, necklace. So yeah, that's pretty much the game. As you can see, this is more of the like starting lobby. It's actually pretty huge. You can go a lot of different places in the starting lobby. But this is where you basically group up with your various teammates. And man, just look at those graphics. Pretty amazing. And uh, you can keep going and going if you find a team. It's very, very easy to get in a team. There is a matchmaking service, so it'll instantly put you with a party of four. Uh, you don't have to have friends to play with, which is really nice. And uh, there's, like I said, I think there's just th three missions currently in the the, um, in the uh, beta, but I'm, pr I'm sure there's going to be a lot more in the full game. The full game is like $25, $30. I think it's $26 currently. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it with the game. Uh, I would encourage you guys to pick this up if you have some friends to play it with. Uh, I would encourage you guys to play it with two to three friends, just because it's so much more fun playing with a group of four people than playing alone. Because you constantly, like if you play alone, you constantly get with groups that don't work well with each other. And then if you die, you don't really get a reward. So you could end up spending like 20 minutes trying to get through a level and then your whole team gets wiped out and then you lose everything, which really, really sucks. And that's the main issue I had with the first game, just because I didn't cons I didn't consistently have uh, people to play with. Um, but yeah, this is just the closed beta. I'm not really sure if I'll buy the full game or not, um, but it's pretty cool. And uh, the first Vermintide was in a lot of bundles, so hopefully the second Vermintide also gets put in a lot of bundles as well. Let's go ahead and leave the party, and I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. I'm going to stop rambling. Sorry for talking so much. I just really wanted to uh, make a quick video on this game. I feel like it's super enjoyable, and it's a lot of fun, especially if you're fans of Left 4 Dead. So thanks for watching, and have a nice day.